management of dystichosis with fugo blade fugo blade energy is plasma energy it ablates tissues without collateral damage it's produced on a 100 micron filament the yellow around the wire is the plasma which does the actual ablation process this is from fugo blade here is a case of congenital dystichosis the whole length of the lid margin is affected with a layer of a line of cilia the child is not aware because the cilia are very fine but he suffers from watering all the time the parents are painfully aware of the presence of these cilia it's not an easy condition to deal with many things have been tried they are effective but they are not easy they are not sure like you have cryo you can cry out the whole length of the lid margin or you can remove the whole strip of the lid margin which becomes a very extensive surgery but fugolysis with the help of fugo plate is the easiest solution to deal with the cases of congenital dystichosis or as a matter of fact in any patient who has misdirected cilia what is required is a special fugo blade tip which should be 2.5 mm long or even long the energy setting on fugo blade may be medium or less than medium that we find on trial how much energy is really required the most important point is that be sure that the tip is passing through the lid and the tip is never directed towards the eye wall because the eye wall will get perforated immediately so that's the most important precaution technique is very simple you take the fugo blade tip in line with the length of the cilium penetrate and reach the root of the cilium the root gets destroyed immediately all the four lids in a congenital case can be dealt with at one sitting there will be no post operative reaction and most of the cilia will never regrow in case some have been missed on the first sitting and it's quite possible because the cilia are extremely fine and then those cilia which were left on the first occasion they can be dealt with 
and this gives you a permanent solution a permanent easy solution of dystichiasis the other methods like fugalysis cryo and surgery really stand no comparison with fugalysis the only precaution is to make sure that the fugal blade tip is moving in the lid it should never go vertical else it will penetrate through the lid and through the eyeball there is no special post operative care except for local antibiotic drops for a few days and the patient can be called back for examination after a month or two most efficient method dealing with large number of misdirected cilia so that is as far as congenital dystichiasis goes This is a case of dystichiasis following drug reaction. The patient is an adult. The cilia are much thicker and extremely irritating. The money the management remains the same. Go along the length of the cilium or about 2.5 mm where the root of the cilium lies and the root gets destroyed you can see there is no burning and no charring in the area of fibrolysis now the white thing that you see is caused by cavitation bubbles which are produced at the time of the action of the plasma plate the energy is transferred to the tissues by the process of resonance and at the point of activity there is formation of micro air bubbles so you see that whitening area when fugal blade is used for fugal lysis any thickness of cilium it doesn't matter 
the action remains the same. Fugalysis is infinitely superior to traditional electrolysis. It is extremely fast and without collateral damage.